Tene Brahma Hirdaya Adikavaye Muyanti Asura Yahat Tejo Vari Medam Yatavini Maya Ratra Tusatri Sago Misha Damna Svena Sadani Rasta Kuhakam Satyam Param Dimahi O my Lord, Sri Krishna, son of Vasudeva. O my Lord, Sri Krishna, son of Vasudeva. O all pervading personality of Godhead. O all pervading personality of Godhead. Offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Offer my respectful obeisances unto you. I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. And the primeval cause of all causes of the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the manifested universes. <coughs> he is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations. <coughs> and he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him. <coughs> it is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge unto the heart of Brahmaji, <coughs> the original living being. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. As one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen on fire or land seen on water. Only because of him do the material universes temporarily manifested by the reactions of the three modes of nature Appear factual, although they are unreal. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna, who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode, which is forever free from the illusory representations of the material world. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. Dharma Projita Kaitravutra Dharma Projita Kaitravutra Paramo Nirmatsanam Satam Paramo Nirmatsanam Satam Vedyam Vastavam Atra Vastu Vedyam Vastavam Atra Vastu Shivadam Tapa Trayon Mulanam Shivadam Tapa Trayon Mulanam Shimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite Shimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite Kimba Parir Ishwaraha Kimba Parir Ishwaraha Sadyo Hide Avarudya Tetra Sadyo Hide Avarudya Tetra Kriti bihi susu subhistakshanat. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth. Which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. Which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. The highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. The highest truth is the reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. Such truth uproots the threefold miseries. This beautiful Bhagavatam compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity is sufficient in itself for God realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established within his heart. Nikama Kalpatara Galitam Falam. Sukamakad Amrita Dravya Samyatam. Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam. Mahur Ahoraska Bhuvibhavakaha. O expert and thoughtful men, relish Srimad Bhagavatam. The mature fruit of the desire to read Vedic literatures. It emanated from the lips of Sri Sugadeva Goswami. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful, even though its nectarian juice was already relishable for all. 
Shinvatam Swakata Krishna. Okay, Ralish Kapoor, including liberated souls. Shinvata Swakata Krishna. Punya Shravana Kirtana. Hriyantaksto Bhadrani. Vidu Noti Srihit Satam. To hear about Krishna from Vedic literatures. Or to hear about him directly through the Bhagavad Gita. Is itself righteous activity. And for one who hears about Krishna, Lord Krishna is dwelling within everyone's heart. Acts as, as, as a best wishing friend and purifies the devotee who constantly engages in hearing of him. Nasta Presu Bhadvesu Nasta Presu Bhadvesu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naistiki In this way, a devotee naturally develops his dormant transcendental knowledge. As he hears more about Krishna from the Bhagavatam, and from the devotees, he becomes fixed in the devotional service of the Lord. Tadarajas tamo bhavo, kamalo badayas chaye, chete tayran avidam, sitvan sattve prasiddhati. By development of devotional service, one becomes freed from the modes of passion and ignorance. And thus, material lusts and avarice are diminished. Evam prasana manaso Bhagavat bhakti yoga taha Bhagavat tattva vijyanam Muktasangasya jayate When these impurities are wiped away, the candidate remains steady in his position of pure goodness. Becomes enlivened by devotional service and understands the science of God perfectly. Vidyate hridaya kruntis chidyante sarvasam saya chidyante jasya karmani Drista evat manishwari. Thus, Bhakti Yoga severs the hard knot of material affection. And it enables one at once to, uh, uh, and enables uh, enables one to come at once to the stage of samsayam samagram. And enables one to come at once to the stage of samsayam Understanding of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, understanding the Supreme Absolute Truth Personality of Godhead. Srimad <clears throat> Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 15, Text Number 17. Shrodye Rita Kumati Natmada Ishwaro Me. Yet Pada Padmam. Abhavaya Bhajanti Bhavya. Mam Shantavaham Arayo Ratino Bhuvistam. Mam Shantavaham Arayo Raino Bhuvistam. Napraharan Yad Anubhava Nirasta Chitta. Nirasta Chitam. Okay. Translation It was by his mercy only that my enemies neglected to kill me when I descended from my chariot to get water for my thirsty horses. And it was due to my lack of esteem for my Lord that I dared engage him in my ch as my chariot driver. For he is worshipped and offered services by the best men to attain salvation. Purported by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. 
The Supreme Lord, the personality of God, it's Sri Krishna, is the object of worship, both by impersonalists and by the devotees of the Lord. The impersonalists worship his glowing, glowing effulgence, emanating from his transcendental body of eternal form, bliss, and knowledge. And the devotees worship him as the supreme personality of God. Those who are below even the impersonalists consider him to be one of the great historical personalities. The Lord, however, descends to attract all by his specific transcendental pastimes, and thus he plays the part of the most perfect master, friend, son, and lover. His transcendental relation with Arjuna was in friendship, and the Lord therefore played the part perfectly, as he did with his parents, lovers, and wives. While playing in such a perfect transcendental relation, the devotee forgets by the internal potency of the Lord that his friend or son is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Although sometimes the devotee is bewildered by the acts of the Lord. After the departure of the Lord, Arjuna was conscious of his great friend, but there was no mistake on the part of Arjuna nor any ill estimation of the Lord. Intelligent men are attracted by the transcendental acting of the Lord with a pure, unalloyed devotee like Arjuna. Let me read that again. Intelligent men are attracted by the transcendental acting of the Lord with a pure, unalloyed devotee like Arjuna. In the war field, scarcity of water is a well-known fact. Water is very rare there, and both the animals and men, working strenuously on the war field, constantly require water to quench their thirst. Especially wounded soldiers and generals feel very thirsty at the time of death, and it sometimes so happens that simply for one of water, one has to die unavoidably. But such scarcity of water was solved in the Battle of Kurukshetra by means of boring the ground. By God's grace, water can be easily obtained from any place if there is facility for boring the ground. The modern system works on the same principle of boring the ground, but modern engineers are still unable to dig immediately wherever necessary. It appears, however, from the history as far back as the days of the Pandavas that big generals like Arjuna could at once supply water even to the horses, and what to speak of men, by drawing water from underneath the hard ground simply by penetrating the stratum with a sharp arrow, a method still unknown to the modern scientists. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. So sometimes devotees who have close intimate relationship with the Lord uh, feel as if that they, that, that they have offended the Lord in some way or other. And this is explained by Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita in the 11th chapter where he says, He says in the 11th chapter, verses 41 to 42, thinking of you as my friend, I have rashly addressed you, O Krishna, O Yadava, O my friend, not knowing your glories. Please forgive whatever I have done in madness or in love. I have dishonored you many times, jesting as we relaxed, lay on the same bed or sat or ate together, sometimes alone and sometimes in front of many friends. O infallible one, Please excuse me for all those offenses. 
And the purport, Prabhupada says, although Krishna is manifested before Arjuna in his universal form, Arjuna remembers his friendly relationship with Krishna and is therefore asking pardon and requesting Krishna to excuse him for the many informal gestures which arise out of friendship. He is admitting that formerly he did not know that Krishna could assume such universal form, although Krishna explained it as his explained it as his intimate friend. Arjuna did not know how many times he may have dishonored Krishna by addressing him, O oh my friend, O oh Krishna, O oh Yadava, etc., without acknowledging his opulence. But Krishna is so kind and merciful that in spite of such opulence, he played with Arjuna as a friend, such is the transcendental loving reciprocation between the devotee and the Lord. The relationship between a living entity and Krishna is fixed eternally. It cannot be forgotten, as we can see from the behavior of Arjuna. Although Arjuna has seen the opulence in the universal form, he cannot forget his friendly relationship with Krishna. So, uh, the, when a devotee is in such an intimate relationship with the Lord, in order to function in that relationship, such as Madhya Soda or Nanda Maharaj as the mother or father of Krishna, or Arjuna as a very intimate friend of Krishna, or the gopis uh, as the eternal consorts of the Lord, uh, the Lord puts them under the influence of yoga maya. What does yoga maya do? Sometimes she uh, reveals who Krishna is, and sometimes she hides who Krishna is or, or covers who Krishna is. So for the pure devotees who have intimate relationships with Krishna, yoga maya gives them forgetfulness so that they can associate intimately with the Lord. If they think the Lord is the Supreme Personality Godhead, then they have to approach him with awe and reverence. But if they think the Lord is my friend or my son or my lover, they approach him intimately. This is not understood uh, by many people. Uh, surprisingly so by, by also the uh, uh, certain groups of uh, Sri Vaishnavas. They don't understand this. In fact, they even doubt that such a thing exists as Goloka Vrindavan. They think there's only Vaikuntha. I don't want to say all of them, but I've seen some like that. So uh, that's why Krishna's transcendental pastimes with uh, the residence of Vrindavana in the spiritual world is confidential. And not everybody understands it. Even certain Vaishnavas don't understand it properly. Therefore, Krishna says, while playing in such a perfect transcendental relation, the devotee forgets by the internal potency of the Lord, so that's yoga maya potency, that his friend or son is the Supreme Personality Godhead, although sometimes the devotee is bewildered by the acts of the Lord. So when Mother Yasoda uh, was uh, concerned that Krishna had, was eating some dirt, because Balaram reported to her that Krishna was eating dirt. So he made him open his mouth, and then she saw the entire creation in his mouth, including her opening his mouth and she became bewildered. But then Krishna put her again under the influence of yoga maya, and she snapped out of that bewilderment. So that's why it says here that while playing in such a perfect transcendental relation, the devotee forgets by the internal potency of the Lord that his friend or son is the Supreme Person of God, although sometimes the devotee is bewildered by the acts of the Lord. So then it says that after the departure of the Lord, Arjuna was conscious of his great friend, but there was no mistake on the part of Arjuna, nor any ill estimation of the Lord. 
Intelligent men are attracted by the transcendental acting of the Lord with a pure, unalloyed devotee like Arjuna. So Arjuna becomes, after the disappearance of Krishna, he becomes aware that he may have acted improperly or inappropriately with the Lord. And he expresses that. He says, I dared engage him in my chariot as my chariot driver, for he is worshipped and offered services by the best men to attain salvation. So this is uh, a glimpse that Arjuna has that maybe he acted wrongly, but he didn't act wrongly because the Lord uh, accepted him as an intimate friend and permitted him to act in that way, and he himself acted as an intimate friend of Arjuna. So there's a, there, there's a lot of practical knowledge given by Prabhupada and, and, and uh, when he talks about the scarcity of water on a battlefield and how dying men uh, feel very thirsty uh, and sometimes they die of, of uh, thirst. So, and then being able to dig a well anywhere in the world. So uh, I have experienced that uh, well diggers oftentimes fail to uh, either, either they don't, they, they hit a, a uh, uh, they, they find water but the amount of water in that place is not sufficient to support a proper well. Or they dig uh, with their machines and they don't find water. Right? Uh, I had a, a well uh, digger. They don't dig, they have these machines, sophisticated machines. Two times he tried to dig a well on my, my property and both times he did not, it, it wasn't successful. But Arjuna simply with, uh, he says, uh, he can draw water from underneath the hard ground simply by penetrating the stratum with a sharp arrow, a method still unknown to the modern scientists. So modern scientists have yet to discover many things. <laughs> okay, are there any questions? Okay, of course, Srila Prabhupada Kijay.